Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. This video was sent to me by a subscriber, and we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Simpson as he lays down the law on somebody who is, well, coming back again for a fleeing and eluding of police officers. And he's done this multiple times. So will the judge give him another chance, or what will happen? So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and find out what happens. Or does call the case of the people versus Patrick Petrupin. No, he's not First assistant, public defender, Kalina Anderson, with an on behalf of Mr. Petrupin. Mr. Petrupin, can you state your name, please? Uh, Patrick Petrupin. What are we doing? Your Honor, in these cases, I'm asking for an adjournment. We had requested some videos. I've received videos in two of the files. Um, I'm asking for videos in the other two. Um, if we can have a two-week adjournment to get those videos and share them with Mr. Pettiprin, and he's also asking to address bonds. Briefly, you can go <laughs> ahead you, and address Your bond. All the journeys out to October 19th. Go ahead. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Pettiprin has been in custody since September 5th. Um, he does have a PR bond on the 1319, which is the larceny matter. He indicates to me that he does have an OWI case before Your Honor in 14 one and in that matter, he was granted a personal bond with the GPS tether. Um, he's yet to receive that tether, uh, so he's he's not yet been released on that case either. He does have a job that's being held open for him at Saladino Construction in Ann Arbor. He's asking the court to consider personal bonds, especially in light of the fact that he will be on GPS tether if released. Oh, GPS tether. Uh, that would certainly make it much easier for the police to track him down when he continues to flee and elude every time he gets pulled over by the cops. I mean, by this point, you would think that he would have learned his lesson, but nope. Response. Uh, yes, Your Honor. In these cases, I requested... 25,000 cash surety on each, which I believe is what he was granted on the fleeing cases. Additionally, yesterday, I just charged this defendant with another fleeing third, and I requested an additional $25,000 on that file. He, um, he tend, <laughs> there's a lot of cases. Uh, he usually has warrants out for his arrest, and when the police try to stop him and or take him into custody for those arrests, he flees. Um, there's one, one of these cases that's up for today. He has fled. The pursuit has to be terminated. A different case where he's ultimately able to be taken into custody, he starts talking to the police about the prior fleeing and says to them, you know, I don't know if you were involved in that, that brigade. Um, and they weren't, you know. So he's making statements that are consistent with the other uh, fleeing despite that they don't otherwise even know about it. Wow, uh, you know, snitches get stitches and end up in ditches, but who ends up giving this particular snitch the stitches whenever it's him who's snitching on himself? I mean, oh uh, boy, that's quite an interesting little question right there. I just hope he doesn't go the uh, SIB route. That's short for self injurious behavior. But you never know. He may do it. He may brag about it to his head shrinker. I mean, I don't know this guy. One case in particular that's up for today, it's an entirely different situation, but it also ultimately has to be terminated. Uh, police are called out to a parking lot. The defendant's in the driver's seat of the car. He's shirtless, profusely sweating, acting erratic. Um, they ask him to get out of the car. He says, just let me put a shirt on. He proceeds to roll up the windows and peel out of the parking lot, taking them on a, on a, on chase. Um, I, I don't know what else to say other than he has four open fleeing cases now, all of which I've requested 25,000 cash surety on him. And I think he, he posts a danger. I think he posts a danger to the community. Motion for bond reduction tonight. Bond will continue. October 19th, 2023, 9 a.m. on all matters. Thank Sorry. you. Could you Thank repeat you. that, Your Honor? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Which part? Um, I, I guess the, the motion for bond reduction has been denied. I've set these matters out as your counsel has requested a couple weeks to the 19th at okay. 9 a.m. Okay, now, um, as far as the bond, uh, how, how many 
how many bonds do I have or how many charges do I have, which you're addressing today? Is this well, you have four and there's another one on the way. Okay, so you said there's another That'd one. That'd be five. Okay. That'd be five. That doesn't include the ones that you have the other bonds on. So we have six or seven, something so, like that. So those are the ones that have yet to be arraigned on as well? Well, there's one that's coming and I don't think you've been arraigned on that one. Okay, and so with what I have been arraigned on, what are my current bonds? I know that I have at least two that are twenty-five thousand, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. So at this point, you have four twenty-five thousand dollar bonds for fleeing and eluding that you've already been arraigned for, and one that's about to be dropped on you for another twenty-five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you got all your jollies out of your system as far as fleeing from the cops, because this is just costing you a pretty penny, isn't it? What are, what are you asking? I'm, I'm trying to get an idea of the bond, you know, the, uh, the amount of money for the bonds, because I know that there are, if there are multiple charges. Right now, your bond... Um, case ending in 5666, that bond is set. You have his bonds laid out for now. I, I got it, I think, right here. The bond on that case is $25,000 cash surety. On your other matter, the case ending in 1318, your bond is also set in the amount of $25,000 cash surety. On the case ending in 1319, your bond is set in the amount of $5,000 personal recognizance. On the other case ending in 1041, your bond is set. Do you have that one? That one is set at 1,010%. Those are the bonds that I have before me. Okay. So that was two at 25,000, one at 5,000, and one at 1,000 cash surety, a couple of PRs. And then you're, you're letting me know that, that there will be an additional charge where I'm uh, get, to, yeah. get to be arraigned. Oh, looks like I misspoke, but you still have well over $50,000 in bonds right there that you got to take care of. I mean, still means you're a freaking idiot. Yeah, there's another one to be arraigned. So that number may change. Okay. Um, I know that I was granted a PR for one of the charges with a $25,000 bond uh, from you. And oh, I know. Yeah, you just keep on giving, getting these PR bonds and then getting arrested for the same damn thing. But you know what? You know what they call... Uh, what they call doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? Insanity. Okay. Okay. So I know that, you know, you granted me that bond V or uh, pending, I get a GPS tether and I believe that that GPS tether would be um, able to keep track of where I am and so forth. So I'm just asking, uh, you know, asking you again, please, if you're you asking you the same thing that your attorney so eloquently laid out to me that you're now just rehashing and I denied it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know what else I should do. You know what I mean? If that's something that I would like and I would like to keep my appointment. And I know that I myself don't pose the uh, threat to the community, which um, the prosecution. Well, when you run around high speed chasing and all of this is alleged and running away from the police, this court believes you do pose a risk to the community. And that's how I laid out my response to your counsel's argument. I understand. That. And I'm just um, this is just my rebuttal, Your Honor. You're rebutting my order. Well, I'm just rebuttaling. Yeah, that's uh, not stand up for myself. Rebuttaling, huh? Uh, I guess doing the English is uh, bad on the brain, I think. Me thinks. Uh, uh, yes, it is hard to do, isn't it? Uh, my smooth brain, whatever you are. I mean, yeah, English is hard. Right. You can go, you go for it. Of course. It's not going to work. Okay, well, uh, what was that? Ms. Anderson, anytime you want to step in, you can. I mean, I... <laughs> your, your Honor, I think I've said all that has needed to be said, and Mr. Pettiprint has repeated it, and Your Honor has denied it twice. I, I'm ready to I move have. on. 
<laughs> Thank you. Love, you. All right. You. What were those dates? Though? Thank you. Well, this uh, idiot tried to rebuttal the judge and ended up getting his butt handed to him by Judge Simpson. So it's safe to say that this guy is not really going to get another chance as far as Judge Simpson goes. Oh, well, better luck next time, if there is a next time. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.